sea level. If you lowered the oceans a few hundred feet, Florida would be huge. Cuba would be annexed to Florida. I believe during the flood, during the end of the flood, as the oceans filled in, everything got stabilized, and then the ice caps melted back, raising the ocean levels even more. Probably the Atlantic Ocean got too full and spilled over into the Gulf of Mexico. We'll cover more on that in a minute. Pensacola Bay and Mobile Bay are about seven feet deep. You can stand up just about any place out there in Pensacola Bay. If you lowered the waters a few hundred feet, Alaska, I mean, Australia would be connected to Vietnam. The water between Vietnam and Australia is very shallow. So the kangaroos, people say, how did the kangaroos get to Australia? Ah, uh, they hopped. That's how they get everywhere. See, kangaroos and wombats and uh, uh, koalas are non-aggressive. I mean, compared to tigers, they're just not very aggressive. So when animals got off the ark and, and over here in uh, Turkey where it landed, they're going to start spreading out and establishing their territory. And the kangaroo's got his home and he's raising his family and all of a sudden the tigers come in. I want this property. Okay, so rather than fight, they run. They, less aggressive animals would constantly be pushed to the migration fringe, to the edge, okay? They would rather run than fight. And they ended up, you know, over generations, over maybe, who knows, 100 years or so, they can't keep spreading out and those that don't run get killed. And they end up in Australia down here. But at the same time, while they're being pushed to the edge of the migration fringe, the water's coming up because the ice caps are melting back. And as the ice caps melt back, the water comes up, and all of a sudden, Australia is protected. It's now an island where it used to be part of the mainland. And they just got as far away as they could get from the tigers, and then that's where they got stuck in Australia. 